On this day, 50 years ago, the war in Europe ended. Its price was paid in many battles, most notably in the bloody and decisive Battle of the Bulge. It just looked almost endless, like you, could, you were going to be there the rest of your life. If you were wounded, you could be out of it for a while. At least that was time that you'd be back in the hospital and could, could warm up and get something to eat and be able to take a bath and that sort of thing. But then you knew that you had to go back up. If you're lucky, it's going to be a leg wound. If you're not lucky, uh, it'll be worse. And if you're very, very lucky, you'll take it through the head. Because after you're in combat a while, dying is a lot easier than living. Accepting, accepting the Peabody are producer Tom Lennon and Margaret Drain, senior producer for the American Experience. When I uh, came across town uh, with my uh, friends and colleagues, uh, Mark Zwanitzer and Ken Aluto, we came up to the third floor and then we split into two separate lines. I went on to the winner's line and they went on to the uh, lines for the other folk. And it was embarrassing for me because I know how much, how central, how essential their contributions were to this film. Um, so I'm going to ask these two somewhat shy and very brilliant men to stand up in the back and maybe the uh, spotlight can find them. <clears throat> um, for Marx wanted to, this was his very first film. Uh, he talked to over 200 uh, veterans before a single foot of film was shot. Uh, and uh, every line in the script is informed by his erudition and his passion. Uh, Ken Aluto, uh, the editor, is one of the best kept editing secrets in New York. I'm responsible for that. I've wanted it to be a secret. I've wanted him all to myself, but now that he's on a long-term contract with me, I can finally acknowledge him, his, his due, one of the great editors of New York. See, these awards are very tricky things. I mean, Greg Andraki was rightly acknowledged as, uh, the, what was it, the greatest cinematographer alive? And I'm sure his rates are going to be going up too. It's true, but these, these things can be very costly. Um, the last person uh, who deserves thanks is Judy Crichton, uh, at least from my end of the ceremony. You're going to be hearing a lot more about her uh, today. She won an unseemly uh, percentage of these awards. I think it's 10% this year. Three out of the 31 awards this year go to the American Experience. But my thanks to her are of a slightly more personal nature. Um, her husband, uh, Robert Crichton, fought in the Battle of the Bulge. To say that those uh, weeks haunted him for the rest of his life uh, is a cliché. It happens to be absolutely true, and if anything, an understatement. Um, at the time that uh, his health failed and his memory began to fail, the one uh, uh, segment of his memory that could not be shaken, that could not be eroded, were those five harrowing weeks. Uh, in uh, Luxembourg and Belgium. And uh, that piece of American history had lived in that home and haunted that home uh, for well nigh on 50 years. And so I was fully cognizant of what an honor it was for her to turn to me and say that she wanted me to make that film. So Judy, thank you. Okay. On behalf of Judy Crichton and the American Experience, I'd like to thank the Peabody Award Committee for bestowing this honor on the, this film. I'd also like to thank Peter McGee, who's head of uh, national programming for WGBH, who had the inspiration to put the American Experience on the air more than eight years ago. I'd like to thank PBS for their continuing support and our corporate underwriters, American Express and Stern's Miracle-Gro. Thanks very much. <laughs>